Previously on Matthew Rodriguez World Learning Edition on Ned Jr. Hello, Paw Patrol fans. Welcome back to Matthew Rodriguez World Learning Edition on Ned Jr. And today in my new awesome Ned Jr. episode of video, we are still continuing and learning about Paw Patrol Mighty Pubs, the movie. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are still continuing with Paw Patrol Mighty Pups the movie. As you all know, everyone, Harold Humdinger just stole the Mighty Meteor, and the Mighty Pups are trying to get it back. If they don't, if they don't stop Harold Humdinger, then the entire world will go dark. So the Mighty Pups had to return the Mighty Meteor before it's too late. All right, everyone, are you ready to continue with Paw Patrol Mighty Pubs the movie? Great, that is bow wow tastic. All right, every all right, everyone, power up and suit up and save the world with the Paw Patrol Mighty Pubs. So here we go. When the Paw Patrol save Farmer Al from a runaway balloon and Paw Patrol Chase save him. And then, when Harold Humdinger accidentally pressed the wrong button, and then Her Mayor Humdinger's rocket flew and crashed straight into the mighty meteor, and then it crashed straight, and the meteor crash landed on on Adventure Bay Beach, and it crashed straight into the sand, and sand flew everywhere. And then, when the Paw Patrol look at the Mighty Meteor, they realize that the meteor is glowing. And then, a beam of light zapped the Paw Patrol. And then, the Paw Patrol got superpowers. And now, the next day, when Harold Humdinger stole the Mighty Meteor, then he grabbed it with his laser beam. He cut through the wall with his laser beam. Then, he stole the Mighty Meteor from Town Hall in Adventure Bay. Will the Mighty Pubs stop Harold Humdinger? We'll find out on our new episode is Matthew Rodriguez World Learning Edition on Ned Jr. Episode 3 Mighty Pub Power After when the Paw Patrol got superpowers and they got awesome super suits and new hero gear on, the Paw Patrol are getting ready to do superhero stuff and superhero action. And now Ryder told Mighty Chase and Mighty Sky to look for Harold Humdinger. And now they were getting ready for action for a biggest hero duty. And now Ryder shouted to the Mighty Pups and he said, All right! Paw Patrol is on a roll! And then when Ryder flew out of the lookout tower, as you can see kids, Ryder he has awesome superhero gear just like the Mighty Pups. He has a red suit and an awesome jet pack and he's really cool. And, and the Mighty Pups went down and down on the slide and then the actors they shout out for the Mighty Pups and they shout, Sky! Chase, everybody shout out for the pups. Rocky, Everest, Rebel, Zuma, Marshall. And everybody say, Mighty Pub Power. Really louder, everybody. Mighty Pub Power. I can hear you. Now say it as loud as you can. Mighty Pub Power. Wow, that is really that is really a superhero terrific. Superhero tastic. Ryder told Sky to be on the lookout from above, and then Mighty Chase raced after Harold Humdinger. Meanwhile, when Harold Humdinger and Mayor Humdinger still got the Mighty Meteor. Then Harold was heading Harold Harold Humdinger is headed straight for Foggy Bottom. And what he's gonna do with that meteor? He's gonna do dangerous inventions that he can do. And he'll attach it to everything else to make the meteor more powerful. And then a blue of light went zoom, zoom, zoom. It was Mighty Chase zooming around. And Harold was like, whoa, who is that? Whoa. 
And then Mighty Chase stop in the middle of the road and he shout out to the to someone in the vehicle and he shouts Whoever's in there, come out or face the mighty pups. Mighty Chase shouted. Uh no one's driving, said Harold Humdinger and so with his megaphone on. Uh I mean uh mysterious driver, said Mayor Humdinger, and they drove away. <gasps> The Mighty Chase recognized the bad guys. It was Harold Humdinger inside the vehicle. And then the Mighty Pups had to work together to stop them. So Mighty Rubble put things on the road like wood and trains. And then Harold Humdinger can see Mighty Rubble putting all the things on the road. And he shouts, whoa, what's that pup doing? He's putting things on the road, said Humdinger. Turn around, Humdinger. Harold Humdinger, I'm trying. Grr. And then Mighty Chase raced after them as fast as he could with top speed. And then Harold Humdinger's vehicle is loaded with an awesome boat. He he turned on the latest button. It's called Hoverboat Mode. And then Harold Humdinger's vehicle went across the sea on the bay. And then Mighty Chase stopped. It was awesome. Mighty Chase is fully equipped with this new awesome gadget. It's called the Drag Parachute. It's, it, the parachute drags Mighty Chase away from the water so his powers won't get wet. Then Mighty Zuma has an idea to stop Harold Humdinger. So he uses his surfboard and with one hand, and after with one paw behind his back, then Mighty Zuma, he uses his surfboard. It was really cool. Zuma uses his surfboard to create the most giant and most coolest waves on earth. And you know what Zuma says. And he always says, time to do the waves. That's right, everybody. Mighty Zuma always says, time to do the waves. Mighty Zuma, he's my favorite pub. I see him all of his movies. He is so cool. I reminded that Mighty Zuma surfboard is cool. Mighty Zuma created the most biggest wave he had ever imagined. And then Harold Humdinger and Mayor Humdinger gasped at the giant wave. It was about to, it was about to hit them. And then what and then Harold Humdinger and Mayor Humdinger swim back and back after when the wave pushed the vehicle. And then, whenever it's used, it's her ice powers to freeze the vehicle. And then, Harold Humdinger's vehicle has been frozen. And then, it was cold inside, and then Humdinger said, Brr, It's so cold in here. I think we give up her a cup of cocoa. Oh, be quiet, said Humdinger. I can do this, said Harold Humdinger, initiating Ray. Then he used the laser beam to get out of the ice. And now they're heading back to Foggy Bottom again. But then, when Mighty Sky, she was... Then she jumped into action to stop them. Then she uses her whirlwind to make them dizzy. After when Humdinger, he was getting sick, his tummy started to hurl. But then, Humdinger... Inside here, Humdinger has a rocket. Then... He blew all the way to Foggy Bottom and then Ryder jumped into action inside the lookout to make sure the Mighty Pups are safe. And then he immediately called the Mighty Pups. Mighty Rocky, I need you to build signs with arrows on them to make, to make Harold Humdinger to, to turn right. I'm on it, I'm on it, Ryder, sir, said Mighty Rocky. And then when Mighty Rocky built awesome super tools that he can do, then he built some signs to turn left. That's right, the signs point to the left with arrows on them. After when Harold Humdinger turned to the left, then Mighty Marshall, he heat up the road and he shouts, I'm ready for a red hot rescue. And then he melt the road with his super heat powers. And Harold Humdinger has been and Harold Humdinger has been defeated after his vehicle sank into the road. And the road has been melted. The road was melted and sticky, and Harold Humdinger can't get out. He trapped himself in the road. Well, 
I can do it all that, said Mighty Marshall. That's great, Mighty Marshall, said Chase. That was great. Nope, don't mention it, said Mighty Marshall. That was great, Mighty Pub, said Mayor Goodway. Now let's bring back the Mighty Meteor back. Mighty Pubs, said Harold Humdinger with his megaphone on. You have to see the last of me because Harold Humdinger will be back. And then his megaphone fell apart. Oh man, said Humdinger. To be continued. Harold Humdinger is about to stop the Mighty Pubs again. And Mighty Chase is going to keep an eye on Humdinger. Can Mighty Chase save the day? Can he do it? Well, you know, Mighty Chase, he doesn't give up, right, kids? No, he won't. Because Mighty Chase, he is super strong and super powerful, he is. So, see you next time on the new episode of Matthew Rodriguez World Learning Edition on Ned Jr.